But today we are going to do a random freestyle. And today's video is sponsored by Madam Glam. Yay! They um, reached out to me and sent me a um, package that has some gel polishes in here. And so I'm going to go over these gel polishes and we're going to work with them and we're going to review them. So, yeah. Let's send me a little. This is what the inside of the packaging, this is what the box looks like. Madam Glam, New York, everything you love at your fingertips. And this is what the inside of the box look like. So cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, this is a little card they sent me. And it just says, hello, Glamourys. Welcome to our influencer community. It's our pleasure to have you. It's our pleasure to have you join the nail team. We believe that when, when talent meet amazing products, magic happens. And it's just basically telling me about the polishes and stuff that they sent me. So this is, I chose these colors actually. They let me, oops, they let me pick what colors I want. So I chose, chose these colors. So I have a pretty purple. I have a um, black. I have a black. And I have this little cute fuchsia pink, whatever color. And I'm trying to see. No, okay, the names are at the bottom, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, Fri this is Frizzante. Frizzante. I don't know how you say that. This is um, y'all. I lied. This is not black. This is base coat. I'm tripping. That's base coat. <laughs> but this is like a glitter color. Frizzante. Frizzante. Whatever you want to say it um office gossip i really got that because of the name y'all okay but um and this is top top coat so they sent me two polishes and top coat and base coat so i'm going to try this out today as well and they sent me gold gel paint so we're going to do some type of pretty design with these colors and this gold gel paint i don't know y'all i'm going to let my creative juices flow so i really don't know what i'm doing but you know it's going to be pretty whatever i do okay because your girl always come with the heat do you hear me if you have not watched my last video go watch my last video this is just an update for you guys telling you where oh sorry y'all my cleavage is out um it's just an update basically telling you telling you guys where i have been talking about my move i did a mini house tour of my apartment the mini house tour of my apartment and y'all if y'all like the dress hold on let me show y'all the dress if y'all loving the dress then I got it from Sheen, okay? And also I got my waist trainer on from my cousin. It's a um, waist wrap, her name is Shamia Jones. Shout out to her. Her waist trainers are five, they are the bomb. I will link her stuff down in the description box below. If y'all looking for a affordable, durable, long lasting waist trainer, okay? And it come with the cellulite gel. So yeah, get on it while you can. Okay, y'all, so we finna jump straight into this video. I am going to swatch these two colors in my video. So we're gonna see how well their product is. And so without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Okay, y'all, so I did not swatch the um, colors because I did not have any more swatch sticks. So I didn't get a chance to swatch the colors on a swatch stick. So I didn't have that part of the video for you guys. But I did swatch it on a nail um, a nail tip and the colors are very thick. They're very pigmented. And you, I believe you probably won't need no more than one coat, maybe two if at the most. But yeah, they're very, very, very pigmented. And they seem like it's made with a great formula. So today, I am going to try to do something a little different, y'all. Like, so one of my um one of my um YouTube subscribers um she had commented on my video, one of my videos. It wasn't a bad video. I mean, it wasn't a bad comment, but she made me think a little bit more about everything. And also, like I said before, I really, 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 really love you guys' opinions. I love when y'all um, comment down below, interact with me, because like I said, I am new to the nail thing, and I'm new to this YouTube thing. So I really, really value you guys' opinions, because y'all are the ones that are watching me, and I really, really like you guys' opinions, and when you tell me what I, what I can do better. So she told me that my videos were great, that she just wished that I would 
was more in depth about what I was doing, explain, explain more in depth about what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to do that this video. I'm not super, super, super good with explaining things. Like, I feel like I'm a visual learner. So, like, you can explain something to me all day long. But if I don't see it, like, then, you know, you know, I probably won't get it. So, but I know some people, like, you have, there are visual learners. And you have to explain things to them. So, I'm going to try to be more in debt with this video. But as you see, uh, this style—I mean, not style—but this look that I that I did on this video um, is not planned. I'm just going with the flow, you know. I'm just going with the vibes, and so. But I did know that I wanted to do a Frenchie, and I did know that I wanted to do a full nude nail with a design. But I am going in with nude in my meal secret nude actually um meal secret pink this is the color that i'm using i'm using a size 14 brush that i got off amazon and all of this that i'm using in this video will be linked but down below in the description box on my amazon storefront so guys please 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 go shop on the amazon storefront because it has all the friend beginner friendly items that you need and everything that i am using below so if you're interested in anything that i am using Please feel free to um to go comment, not comment. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm all over the place. Please feel free to click that link and get on my Amazon storefront, and you will have a list of everything um in my Amazon storefront. Also, guys, if you are um also guys, if you would like to shop with Madam Glam. Um, my, I have a, a coupon code that will give you 30% off your purchase and I will have the coupon code in the video and I will have the coupon code in the description box below. Just please make sure you use that coupon code because who don't want to save coins, okay? It's, go, it's going to be Koya Simone 30 and using this code will save you 30% off your purchase. So guys, as I stated in my previous video, I don't have a method where I just do beads or I have so many beads or anything. I use as many beads. I need and as many beads that I feel comfortable with, especially as a beginner. And I also work my way down. I work my way up the nail. So I start my first bead at the bottom of the nail and work my way up. But as you see right here, I am not doing it because I am making a smile line because this is going to be the nail that is going to be a Frenchie. So I started my um I started my acrylic at the top instead of at the bottom to make that perfect smile line. And the smile line came out so amazing. And this also comes with practice, you guys. You don't, don't expect to get it on the first try because I know that I did not get it on the first try. My smile lines are either always too thin or always too thick. But you want to make sure that you have the right uh, consistency that way. Because um, you want to kind of make your smile line a little thick, a little on the thicker side. I can say thick, but you know, on a little on the full side because you don't want to have it too thin and have to keep going back in put capping it so much so it is on the little um and i'm just i did flood the cuticle just a little bit guys so i am going around the um cuticle area and kind of cleaning it up but as far as the smile line the smile line came out perfect i really didn't even have to file it too much either but yeah i'm just going in and you don't want to make it too too thick because you are going to cap this nail and I will be using um the gel polish from Madam Glam in today's video to make my French tip. And I'm also going to be using the gel polish to make my design on my design finger as well. But right here, I'm just showing you guys the smile line and how perfect that it came out. And I did kind of speed up this video, you guys. This video is not in real time because this video was almost an hour long. And I know I don't like posting hour long videos. So I did speed the video up. So if it seemed like I'm going a little fast, I kind of am. And I'm... Y'all, I'm so sorry. I don't know why my mouth keeps getting dry, but I'm just basically showing you the colors that I am using today. Um, and I'm using the two purples and the gold gel paint. So right here, I, I have put um, all my colors on the little um, butterfly thing, and I'm going to go in with my design now. And this little polish paint holder, whatever, I got this off Sheen, and it was just 75 cents. So, yes, I got that off Sheen. So, y'all, Sheen is the goat when it comes to little stuff like this. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Sheen, Sheen, Shine, whatever you want to call it. But they have bomb, bomb, bomb nail supplies. And you see me moving moving it around because, y'all, I could not figure out how to position it on my own hand. Because if I was doing somebody, a client hand, I would put it on my thumb and just work my way like that. But you see me moving it around because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put the design on my hand and have this without the polish running all down my hand <laughs> okay so i finally got the polish position i am now going in with their purple um i want to say off this is um the color office gossip y'all i messed up right here because i forgot to put my um gel down first so this is a step that you would normally use blooming gel you guys but i did not have any more blooming gel so i um used base coat instead so the blooming gel um 
helps marbleize the um it helps spreads out the polish if that makes sense to get that marble effect because if you just put just the colors on there by themselves then you're not going to get that marble effect that you would like so and also like if you don't have any blooming gel you can use top coat or base coat i prefer base coat because it spreads a little better than the top coat do but it didn't spread as much as I wanted it to spread. I wanted it to be like real bloomy looking like with the when I mixed the colors together. But you know, I like I said, I was out of um, I was out of um, blooming gel, so I just used base coat. But basically, right here, you see me just going in on the little French on the French tip part. I'm just going in with all three of those colors, and I'm just making um, with my dot and tool. I'm just making a marble effect, and I'm just going around making sure that it, all the um the tip. All the tip of the nail is covered, and you're going to later cap this in clear that way. Um, and I'm talking about capping this in clear acrylic because when you go to drill, you do not want to chip or... Um you do not want to chip the polish or have any of the polish come off. Just make sure that every every area is covered because once you cap it in clear, there is no going back. So just make sure that every every area on the nail is covered. So guys, I want to really, really, really thank you guys. We're almost at 400 subscribers. Right now we're at 380. Don't forget that I will be doing a... um. 500 subscriber giveaway so stay tuned for that guys let's get to 500 subscribers yay i appreciate everybody who's been watching everybody who's been tapped in with me and right now you just see me not doing anything because i am curing the nail after i apply the gel polish i am going to cure for 60 seconds and so this is what it looked like after it is cured and i'm just showing you guys that is really this is going to turn out so pretty like this set was giving me prom vibes even though and prom is coming around the corner too so this set is really 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 giving me prom vibes it was so 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 pretty okay right here you just see me doing the same exact thing that i did on that finger but instead i am going to do a ombre on this fingernail instead of a french tip i am going to do um a ombre i'm going to marble all three acrylics i mean not acrylics i'm sorry i'm going to marble all three polishes together and swirl them around and i'm going to um come back with some um acrylic and make it an ombre effect guys we'll see what i'm talking about here in just a second okay but while this is going, y'all, I do have a quick little story time. So, y'all, y'all, y'all know I have to tell y'all in. Y'all know I have to update y'all and fill y'all in on what's going on in my life, okay? So, um... Yeah, y'all, I had a date. Like, I finally let somebody take me out on a date. Y'all know the story time about to happen last time. I was supposed to have a date on Valentine's, and he ended up flaking on me. But since I moved to the new area, I was at work, and um, mind y'all, I work part time at Starbucks. So I was um I was at work, and this guy came through the drive through. And, like, y'all, he was so charming. And let's not to mention handsome, okay? But this is what the nail looked like after I um cured it. And uh, I'm just going to now, I'm going to go in and move on to my pinky finger now. Back to the story. Okay, y'all. I, um, he came to the drive through He was so charming and handsome, y'all. Like, he was, <laughs> y'all was smiling, talking about this man. But anyways, um, it just, I don't know, like, I don't really give people my number, especially if I'm at work. Like, I don't really give people the time of day. But it's like, he had uh, he had approached me different than any guy has ever approached me. So I was like, you know, why not give it a chance? You know, I'm new here. You know, I don't really know nobody here. Why not make some friends? It ain't like I'm I'm going with the man or it's like I'm trying to, you know. You know, so I was just like, you know, why not make friends? And, you know, my dating life hasn't been the best. So I was like, shit, what do I have to lose? Literally nothing. So why not? But I did end up giving him my number and... He texted me a little bit afterwards, and, um, you know, he was texting a little bit, and I'm a horrible texter. I'm not even even a lot of y'all. I am a horrible texter. I would text you back three or four days later. You literally would have to call me or pull up on me because I do not text back. I don't know why. It's just a thing, but <laughs> I don't text back, y'all. But, um, like, we text for a couple days, for like three or four days, and then he offers to take me out on a date. And, y'all, I agreed to go out on a date with him, but... I never did, like, I chickened out, like, the last minute. I was like, no, I'm not going to go on a date with this boy. Like, you know, heck no. Nah. And so then he ended up hitting me up. to. I, I basically told him that something came up. I was like, something came up. You know, I'm sorry. I had to give it you another day. This is in the third because I chickened out. Yeah, I, was, I got scared because I was like, uh, I was like, I don't know these people. <laughs> but so 
I was talking to my sister about it. She was like, girl, you, you literally have nothing to lose. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, just go on a date. I mean, the worst could happen was that the date got bad and y'all just never speak again. But, okay, story interruption. Right here, I am going in with my Mill Secret um, Frosted Pink. I did not want to use the nude that I've been using. And I wanted to use the white color because I just thought that was so pretty with that purple and gold. And I'm just unbraiding that into the gel. And also, guys, um... You're going to see me, I'm put, applying this to the cuticle area. I'm not using very um, big beads. I'm using just enough just to pull that down. And y'all, I kind of messed up. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Right here, I kind of messed up because I dried my bead out a little bit too much. So it got stiff on me. As you can see, I keep keep trying to pat it and I keep dipping my brush into the monomer to kind of bring it down. But it is going to be big on the video. But I am going to later go in and I'm going to um, debook that nail and blend it out. But you see me trying to just trying to fix it right now because I did, I did put a little bit too much white. But I went off camera and tried to fix it. So I'm moving on to the thumb now. And I'm not going to, and the nail looks thin because I'm not, um, I didn't put, I didn't make that nail thick because that nail has gel polish on it. So we're going to go in later and cap the nail. Okay. But okay. <laughs> Back to the story, y'all. So, um, he ended up hitting me up today, actually, y'all. And he was like, um, he wanted to reschedule that lunch day. And I was just like, okay, you know what? Why not? You know, I'm, I'm going to go this time for real. So he set a time for 3.30. So he told me the location or whatever. And, um... I ended up going, I ended up going, and I'm kind of glad I did, y'all, because I enjoyed myself, like, it has been a long time since I have actually been on a real date, like, I really enjoyed myself, like, it was literally, like, we talked the whole time, neither one of us was on our phones, like, it was a whole vibe, y'all, so I hope this goes well with him, I'm not gonna get my hopes up high, because once you get your hopes up high, that's when they disappoint you, but... He seems like a good dude. He has a great vibe. But I keep y'all in the loop and I keep y'all updated to see how everything go. But I really did enjoy myself. It's like, it's been a minute that I have sat down and genuinely talked to somebody without any distractions and just actually had like a good time. Like, even though we didn't really do too much, we just ate lunch. But but you know how you just had that like chemistry with nobody, but y'all just vibing. Like, yeah, it was, it was one of them type of moments. But you know... Your girl ain't gonna get too hot now, cause you know they are disappointing in a minute. But we're not gonna speak it into existence. But <laughs> anyways, y'all, I'm just applying that um nude to my nail, and I'm and now I'm going in with my cuticle bead to kind of um make sure. And I make sure I slowly do this to make sure that the acrylic is from inside wall to side wall. And I kind of zoomed in so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm pressing the acrylic down into the side and I'm slowly bringing it down. And this is how I learned how to stop flooding the cuticle. Basically take smaller beads towards the cuticle area uh, area and press them in and y'all i really 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 i hope i'm not talking too fast it's just i have to speed this video up like super fast and so like i'm trying to get everything in and i'm trying to get everything out for you guys so i'm really hope i'm not taking you guys too fast and now i'm just taking a small bead and i'm going to place this bead at the tip of the nail because um it still was kind of thin and you don't want your tip of your nail to be too too thin because if they hit their nail the tip the, the tip can chip and break off and then you have to in eventually taking the whole nail off just to fix the tip so you're just going to um make sure there is enough acrylic throughout the whole entire nail to keep the nail sturdy and make sure you have a nice apex Okay, now y'all, I am taking some Mia Secret Clear, and I am, um, and that bead was dry, so I re-picked up a bead, but, um, I'm just going in with my Mia Secret Clear, and I'm just about to go in, and I'm about to, um, encapsulate the nails that have the, um, clear, that has the gel polish on it. And I'm just basically starting where the gel polish and the acrylic meets because you don't want to make the nail too thick because, like I said before, I did kind of make the white a little thick. But we're going to go in and later debook the nail and file the nail. But I'm just basically placing it clear and I'm just bringing it clear all the way down. And you want to make sure that that clear acrylic is sidewall to sidewall. That way it is covering the entire nail because you don't want any um, gel polish left uncovered because when you go in to file and buff the nails, it will chill off and it will not be cute y'all okay so make sure that um the clear acrylic is covering the whole entire nail like and if you have to go b by b that is okay just make sure that it's covering the entire nail you don't want to leave none of the nail 
you don't want to leave none of the nail uncovered because it will cause chipping in the nail polish design and um and you see me just swiping the sides of the nails that's because i i try to keep the shape as i'm applying the acrylic it's like um i these are pre pre-shaped um stiletto tips that I got off of Amazon. I will have them linked below. This is a time saver for me. Because instead of putting on square tip or coffin tips. And then cutting down the sides to the little shape. The nails are already pre-shaped. But the only thing about um these nail, these nail tips is that. When you put them on. You will have to do. You will have to have your nails that length. If you want to this the little shape. Because if you cut them. They're going to turn into coffin nails. Because you're going to cut the tip off. So. The only thing about that is that you will have to leave your nails this long. You can't you can't cut them down any further if that if that makes sense. Like you know, I think I, I hope I'm making sense, guys. Because sometimes I just feel like I'm just rambling, but I really hope that I'm making sense to you guys and y'all and you you guys understand where I'm coming from and understand what I'm trying to say. Your finger, I am moving on to my Frenchy finger, and you guys are only going to see me cap just the gel part. Because normally I would cap the whole entire nail, but I feel like that my smile line is thick enough. And I don't want to um, thicken the nail up by putting more acrylic on top of it. Because that, that means I would have to later do a lot of fouling. And I already have to debook one nail. So I'm just putting the... Um, and y'all, y'all see me having a hard time getting this acrylic off. <laughs> But I'm just putting um, clear acrylic over the gel polish part. And I'm making sure that it's all covered. And making sure that it's covered from sidewall to sidewall. And y'all, y'all know spring is coming around. Like, well, we're in basically in spring. So soon I will be dropping a spring set for you guys. I'm so excited. I will be, I will be dropping a spring set for you guys very, 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 very soon. And I cannot wait. Stay tuned for that. Also, you guys can comment down below um, some spring ideas you guys would like to see me do. And so, right now, we are on my least favorite part about doing my own hand fouling. Y'all, I know I don't sit this, this in almost every video. I freaking hate fouling my own hand. I feel like that is the hardest part about doing my own nail is the fouling. Because, for one, my hands be catching cramps. For two, I can't get that sharp foul that I want because it's like if I, I use the pop-off method. So, if I foul too, too hard, my nails will pop off. So, I can't foul too hard and I can't, like... Also, it's hard for me to hold my hand a certain way to foul. <laughs> but as you see me, I fouled the sides to, um, to keep that stiletto shape. And I didn't make my, I kind of rounded my stiletto nails off. I didn't. I don't like my stiletto nails to be super, super pointy. So I kind of um, rounded them off. And you see me going underneath the nail. And I foul underneath the nail because when you foul underneath the nail of a stiletto nail, it gives it a more sharper look. And I also foul on top of the nail to, um, to even out the nail and to debook the nail as well. And y'all, this nail I had to do a lot of fouling because this was the the um nail that the acrylic dried up on me dried on me on. So I had to do a lot of fouling and making sure that I had everything straight on this nail. Also, y'all, it is spring break. Like, are you guys out for spring break? Like, are you offering your job for spring break? Are you out of school? Like, where are you guys going? I know I have a couple friends that's going to Houston, but me on the other hand, I have to work. So, and I also start my second job um here soon so i won't be traveling anywhere for spring break y'all all my money went towards moving but you know it is what it is because those cities are going to forever be their priorities first okay but i would love to know where you guys are going for spring break like comment down below where you guys are going or if you're doing anything or what you're going to be doing for spring break because you know spring break Break is lit, okay? It be real lit around spring break time, especially like in South Padre, Miami, Houston, and um, Biloxi, Mississippi. They be lit there. Like, you no, know, I'm going to celebrate spring break one of these years. But your yeah, girl won't be celebrating this year because work caused my name. But as you see, I'm just fouling on top of my pinky because I'm trying to um get these nails straight because I did kind of put a little bit too much acrylic on my pinky and it kind of made it bumpy. But as you see, I'm just smoothing out the nail and just making sure that all my nails are straight and they're not lumpy, bumpy, and making sure that it's, um, they're smooth throughout the whole entire nail and making sure that my, that my shape is real sharp. 
For the foul, I am using a 8080 grip foul. And I got this foul. Um, I got them in a pack of 50. And I actually got them here in my local nail supply store here in Little Rock. So um I don't know if they have a website, but there is called Lotus Nail Supply here, um, here in Little Rock, Arkansas. So yeah, I had I got these um these files from there and y'all i was gonna do a um a video a haul from them because i recently just went to their to their store and i bought um some chisels some glow in the dark chisel acrylic powders i bought some gel top coats i bought um my files cuticle nippers you know little stuff that i need to restock up on and like new stuff but i feel like that my haul wasn't big enough like i want to i want to record and film when i do it like a big haul like i only bought like 12 things but you know i still could have did like a mini haul like on um, TikTok or like a reel or short or something but I really wasn't thinking to record when I was in there because I, I like I said this is only my second time being in there so you know and it's really big so you know I'm I'm, I'm learning everything that they have so the next time I go in there and I make a real big purchase I am going to film it and I'm going to do a haul for you guys I'm also going to do a sheen haul because I just recently ordered a whole bunch of chores off sheen so there will be another video within itself so I will be doing that for you guys as well okay so right here i am taking my um 100 i kind of am yeah i got the practice on being in frame more but i am going to be taking my 100 um drill foul drill bit i'm just going to be going around and i'm going to be sealing the cuticles and fouling on top of the nail just making sure that the nail is um is is not lumpy and making sure that it's um that it's smooth and i'm just going around my cuticle area sealing the cuticles and you see me feeling it making sure that the nail is re is really really smooth so that's what you see me now and i'm not going too close to my um to my cuticle area because i don't want to nip myself but also before i go in when i do this on clients y'all i do this thing called seasoning my um seasoning my drill bit i run my drill bit across a foul two or three times to kind of like smooth it out because when you get to these little um drill bit thingies they do be rough and you don't want to nip yourself or nip your client and they started bleeding because i have had that happen to me before so i just run my um I just run my foul, like my drill, across a foul for like two or three times to kind of like soften the drill bit, if that makes sense. And also, I'll be putting in a proper prep video, so you will see what I'm talking about in that video as well. Just getting a little extra acrylic I had when I flooded my cuticle on my pinky, and I'm just basically cleaning it up and dusting it off. So that's what you see me doing right here, guys. These Oh, these nails are looking so good. They're looking so pretty. I bet these would have been super pretty matte. And y'all, this is my first time having full. Wait, I might be lying. No, I'm not lying. I don't know, y'all. I think this is my first time having full stiletto, a full stiletto set on myself, if I'm not mistaken. But right here, y'all, I am going to take my little Dollar General buffer. I need to go back to the nail supply store because y'all, I went to the nail supply store, got everything I needed except for glue and except for buffers. That was those was the main reason why. I was going to the nail supply store to get the buffers and the glue and I ended up buying acrylic and stuff that I really just didn't too much really need and forgot to get what I really needed. <laughs> and that is just so funny to me because I got home, I was like, I went in the store, didn't get nothing that I needed at all. I didn't realize I had forgot it until after I was getting ready to film this video. But as you see right here, I am going in with some alcohol and I just brushed my nails to get that dust off and any debris off that was left over from the drill. And I'm just going in and cleaning it up. And we're going to jump straight into this design now, y'all. Yay. The Oh, Lord, I almost choked myself, so I my speed. But um, we're going going in with the design now, y'all. This is the fun, 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 fun part. So as you guys know, this is a freestyle. So I, like I said, I literally had no idea what I was doing for this set. I was just going. Whatever came to my mind, I was just going. And I feel like this set turned out really, really, really pretty. Like I said, it was giving me prom vibes. And with this being prom season or prom season coming up, I thought this was a pretty, 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 pretty set. So as you see right here. Y'all don't talk about my brush. I left my brush soaking in acetone and it bent up on me and it hasn't been in shape since. <laughs> so please don't talk about my brush, y'all. Like my brush is 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 going through it. I gotta get some more. But um 
I'm going right now. I'm taking that gel, gold gel um, liner from Madame Glam, the one that they sent me. I am taking that and I am lining my um, smile line. I am lining my smile line with this gel polish and I'm going to go all the way around. I'm kind of making it a little thick because I want. Um, I just thought this was going to be. I just thought this was going to be real, 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 real cute if I just line, line a smile line because I didn't want it to be plain. I kind of wanted to like. You know, it to have a little detail on it besides just the marble. So I decided to line the gel smile line. And I know I'm I'm kinda out of frame, y'all. I'm so sorry. I have to work on staying in frame. Like I hate I re look at this. This is just ridiculous. I really, really, really hate that I got out of frame. You guys can't really see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry, guys. Like I'm gonna have to work on it a little bit more. And also, I need another I need another stand to go over my table when I'm filming because this stand is broken. So it sits really, 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 really low, y'all. It sits really low. And I hate that. But I did make my um gel paint the line. I made it too thick. So you just see me now going in with my cleanup brush. And I'm going in to kind of like thin it out to get to get where I wanted because I made it too thin but look at that how cute is that guys like just look at that I know it's kind of blurry my camera wouldn't focus right here but you guys gonna see this just look how cute that is it is just super cute okay now I am taking um the top coat and I'm just going to brush the top coat over all of my nails before I start my design and I would normally put my design on before I put the top coat on I'll put my design on the dry the dry nail but I find it um real easier to put your top coat on first and then draw any gel polish design that you have on I just feel like the brush glides better and it glides easier and it's very very easier to put on but that's just me that's just my opinion so I am going in with my gel top coat first and I'm going to let this cure for 60 seconds and then we're going to come back in and draw the designs on the nails and I'm going. I'm just cleaning up around the cuticle area because I did kind of get some gel polish on the cuticle when I was painting it, and I didn't want it to stick to my skin when I put it underneath the gel lamp. But like I said, I'm just applying this to all the five nails, and I'm going to let this cure for 60 seconds, and we're going to come back and jump straight into their design. Okay, now we're back. We have cured for 60 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do, I am going to go in with this Office Gossip with the purple here. And I'm just dipping my brush. And I'm showing you which one I'm going in with. In with. I'm just dipping my brush into it. And I'm just going to make random lines. Like I said, I had no idea what I was doing. I just started making random lines. And I liked it. And it came out very pretty. So I just kept going. Y'all, I was literally just, just going with the flow with this set. Like, I literally had no idea like i was just going i just knew that i i just knew that i wanted a french tip nail and i knew that i wanted a um full new nail with a design so there is no specific way that i am um i'm doing this i'm just drawing random lines and of course i am going to when i switch colors i am going to cure for 30 seconds in between each drawing so don't draw all these lines on at once because um unless you're using the same color um, because they will run together and they will smear. So, yeah. And y'all thought this was so unique and so creative of me. Like, and honestly, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I messed up right here. I was not trying to do that. Like, I was not trying to do it. It was supposed to be in one line. But then I, start, I started seeing how it was looking with multiple lines. So, I just started making multiple lines. Because I was like, yeah, I'm not finna take this off. So, we just finna make multiple lines and make it look like a little something an uh, abstract piece of art or something but i have cured that nail for for 30 seconds and now i'm going to go in with the um gel liner and i'm just rubbing my um brush in there wiping off the excess and i'm just going to go in i'm going to make more lines just in the in the in the open areas i'm just making more lines just look how this that gold y'all i'm gonna tell you something about this gold this gold gel liner is great it's super pigmented i love it and y'all, just look how smooth it's going on. And it, it, this gold brought this whole look together. Like, I kid you not. This gold really brought the whole look together. Like, it really did something. And, and it made this, this nail set look so elegant. Like, it made it look so so fancy. Like, this gold made this nail set look super, super fancy. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Just look at it, y'all. Look how cute it is. I just love it. 
So now I'm going in with the pinky and I'm just going to make random lines on this pinky as well. I didn't really do too much on the pinky. I just knew that I wanted to do a design. So I made two lines with the gold, as you guys can see. And I'm just going in and running, um, doing it again. And I'm going to let this cure for 60 seconds as well. And y'all, I kind of got stuck right here. You see me? I just kept flipping my nail back and forth. I really didn't know what I wanted to do next. I kind of got stuck, so <laughs> I'm just steady going over the line, because I was finna do, like, the whole side go, like, but then I was like, nah, so I just left it like that, and so I let that cure for 30 seconds, and now you see me going in with my dotting tool, I'm going in with my dotting tool, I'm just making random lines along along the nail, y'all, like, it's really nothing, nothing specific that I did, no steps that I followed, this is just a random design that came out of my brain, y'all, like, I'm just, just putting random little dots in the thingy and i'm gonna let that cure for 60 seconds as well and now we're moving on to the thumb i didn't want to do any lines on the thumb because i feel like i already had a lot of lines on in the set so i just did some little dots like i started out with big dots and went down to small dots and i just did that <clears throat> excuse me y'all i just did that at the top of the nail in purple and i'm going to do it at the bottom of the nail in gold so that's what you see me doing here I wanted to do something fancy, and I, of course, I let this cure in between for 60 seconds. If you guys have watched this far, please comment down below some um some purple hearts, y'all. And thank you for watching this far because I know um this is a long video, like 40 40 minutes. Even though it was longer, this video was an hour long, <laughs> but. Thank you guys for watching this for make sure to comment down below some um some purple hearts and as of right now I'm just letting this cure and when I'm gonna come back when it is cured. Okay, now that the nails have been cured for 60 seconds, I am taking this gel top coat and I am going um to apply this to all the nails. All the designs have been applied to the nail, so I am now going to top coat the nail. And after I top coat the nail, I am going to let this cure for 60 seconds as well, and we're going to come back and add the rhinestones. And y'all, I know I have talked this whole entire video. I am so sorry. I don't know if you guys like it when I talk or you like it when I just talk a little bit and play music or don't talk at all. So come, also comment down below if there's something that you guys like. Do you like the talking videos? Do you like the story times? Do you like when I don't talk or talk a little bit and play music the rest of the videos? Or just comment down below. Like I said, I really do value you guys' opinions. So right here. This is I'm just popping the set off. I'm just adding some diamonds around the um cuticle area. Um, and I just thought that this set was so cute, y'all. Like it's unique. Like this is something different. Just just look at it. Like you cannot tell me these nails don't scream prom. Like I don't know. Like they they screaming something like prom birthday. Or something that they're screaming something elegant. Like even though it's a lot, it's not a lot going on, but it's just right. Like these nails came out super, 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 super pretty. And shout out to Madam Glam for sending me this. I can't wait to keep working with you guys. I really, really love these products. They're very pigmented and they're very easy to work with. And they are very, very beautiful and have a good form formula. Make sure you guys don't forget to use my code CoySimone30 to save some money on your purchase through them. And and yeah, so who don't wants to save? And y'all, 30% is a good chunk of money, okay? Because let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, these nail supplies ain't cheap. So any type of little discount I can get, I'm going to use it. But you just see me put a little bit of um, nail glue right here. And I, I just thought that this white nail was too plain. So I just quickly placed some rhinestones on this nail because I just thought it was too plain. I, I thought I needed another nail with some rhinestones, y'all. But I'm just um quickly placing them on here. And y'all, look how cute that is. Like, this set came out so, so amazing. This set came out so cute. But now I'm just taking my little um cuticle oil I got from Dollar General. And I'm just applying this over all the cuticles. And guys, thank you for watching this far. Like, just thank you. Just, just look at these nails, y'all. I'm in love. Like, I don't know why, but it's just something so different about them. Like, I'm really, really in love. Like, look at that. This is the final look, guys. Just, just look at this. This camera is super dope, y'all. Like, look. Oh, my God. I'm just in love with them. Like, they came out super, super cute. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.